that metal interview. One might call this sleaze rock at its best. One might call it glam rock, hair metal, hard rock, whatever you might call this. I refer to it as faster pussycat, straightforward rock and roll, in your face, melt in your face. And we have as a special guest on this episode of That Metal Interview Podcast, we have Tammy Down, frontman of Faster Pussycat. And he speaks to us about the latest single, NOLA, N-O-L-A, and he talks about new material coming up in the future, a very, very near future, as they have just signed a, a, a deal with Golden Robot Records from Australia, of course, so he'll talk about that in a bit. So right now, we're going to check out their latest single by the name of NOLA. Enjoy it, and we'll be right back. Tina's a cat, my 
whole nine yards is what I hear. I hear the whole nine yards of badass, straightforward rock and roll with this song, Nola, from Faster Pussycat. I mean, just being brutally honest, it's just in your face. One of the baddest riffs that I've heard. Baddest as in badass, like rock and roll in your face. So thank you guys uh, from Faster Pussycat. Thank you for bringing on those riffs to us rock fanatics. And thank you to Chad, uh, the drummer, Danny, and all the guys in uh, Faster Pussycat for this great rock and roll. And of course, Mr. Tammy Down for uh, keeping up the fort and uh, keeping up the band going uh, since 1984. Five, I believe, or, or that could be wrong. It's uh, sometime in the late 80s. And in case you guys didn't know, Tammy uh, is born in Seattle, Washington. And uh, so, and then he moved to California, of course. So he could have been stuck in a grunge band one day. And uh, we asked him about that and what he thinks about grunge. So let's go to the interview with Mr. Tammy Down of Faster Pussycat. Check it out. <laughs> So you guys are currently on tour, uh, a U.S. tour for some people that don't know. How's that going so far? Of course, we just talked about a, a bad experience right there. Yeah, well, that wasn't bad. It's just, just maintenance. Oh. You know, it's just shit that, shit that needs to be taken care of on the road. Like, they had to change up, get the, the whole diesel motor. They had to get the oil changed. And they got to try to do it in between drives and stuff. So we're not oh. sitting at a, sitting at a, you know, auto a, you know, bus shop for the, while we're all up and, you know, doing our, trying to do our shit. So, like, I try to do it while we're sleeping and make shit and, I don't know, it just certain things that yeah. don't always go super smooth, but it got done. It just took a little longer than it was supposed to. Yeah, that, that's life. So, uh, well, how do you take care of your voice uh, on the road? I mean, uh, there's stress and then there's, uh, there's different things that might affect your voice for the gig, right? A lot of, a lot of the times, I mean, Nowadays, I'm, you know, I, I quit smoking five years ago and drinking, so, and cool. drugs. So that helps. You know yeah. I mean? so, <laughs> but, you know, you just kind of hope for the best. You know, there's not really, you know, I don't, I'm not really one of those singer singers that have a huge range and all that shit. I'm just pretty much a rock, rock yeller guy, but, yeah. you know what I mean? Just kind of yell shit out of my mouth and hope it comes out right. Just try to keep it in key. But I've been pretty lucky this run, you know. I, I before I go sound check and before I do the shows, I have you know I have some tea with some honey and decaf, you know. Yeah. I don't want to get all jacked up. I don't need to. Yeah. So I have to drink coffee all fucking day, so like, <laughs> I don't want to be all I don't need to be all amped before I go on. So, but but that that's been help. That's been that's been working killer. So it's like, and I look the shows with Tom and. Uh, LA Guns, our set's not that long, so yeah. last night we did, a, last night though we did like an hour and a half, so it was, we did a lot of songs, we played Poison Ivy, which we hadn't played all year, and stuff, so that was fun. So you guys change it up, it's not just a, a, a set uh, list, right? No, we no we try we try to change it up, I mean there's certain songs that we play every night, but but there's other ones that go into rotation, Yeah. and we're like, oh shit, we haven't played that one yet. Very Since cool. Ronnie been in the band, so. Very cool. So let's speak of your past a little bit, your history. You were born in Seattle, uh, eventually moved to California. If you had stayed in Seattle, you think you would have ended up with a, a grunge band or in the grunge scene? Yeah, because I had friends with all those fuckers. So I was like... Really? I was the first one to get, get out. You know, I mean, I was friends with Lane and Mike Starr from Alice in Chains, and I got to know Jerry after the fact. But oh, cool. I was friends with them from fucking way back, and Chris Cornell... Oh wow! Kim from Soundgarden and stuff. So Kim Thiel, yeah. Wow, yeah, so you know, you know yeah. those cats. Wow, cool. So, what is your opinion on on grunge music? Oh, I mean, oh, I like all. I like all, I like anything that fucking rocks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody go. Oh, grunge music is gonna be the death of you guys. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to change shit up. Yeah. <laughs> everything's gotta. Everything's gotta progress and do stuff. When that shit happened, I was playing with Pig Face. In yeah. Chicago, in industrial. Yeah. So, yeah. I just get bored with shit, and, and I appreciate everything. You know what I mean? I just try to just bring element, different elements of different shit in the, in, into my life. You know, into what I do. I don't stick to a script. Yeah. I never have. I just kind of write, do shit that I think is cool. <clears throat> try different things. Don't be, you know, just yeah. be pigeonholed into one thing. So. Of course. So you mentioned uh, Pig Face, and uh, of course uh, the Newly Deads later on. Is that when uh, Faster Pussycat broke up? Back in the 90s, right? Yeah, 
back in the, yeah back in 93 that's when we were just like oh we got dropped from electra and was, everybody was just kind of like didn't know what they wanted to do each, each of us and i was like ah, let's, let's take some time to figure it out and i just went and did different shit i went to chicago and yeah. i had some friends out there and stuff and martin atkins from and skinny puppy guys and yeah. They're like, well, if you guys want to move out here, we can do some shit. And I go, and I talked it over with my buddy Mike. He was my roommate, my best friend. And, you know, he was from San Diego when I first moved down there from Seattle. And he said, yeah, let's go to Chicago because we were friends with Martin Atkins from Big Face and Invisible Records. And he was a pill and killing joke. And, you know, so. Very cool. Um, that was fun. Any, it was a cool adventure. Any hopes to reunite uh, the newly deads? I know uh, several members of your band right now uh, were part of it. Yeah, well, yeah, three fifths or Danny and Chad were in the Newly Dead. So, but you know, we there was talk about us doing the Newly Dead show a while ago, but I don't know. Who knows if it's gonna happen? It got it got changed because we had got some other offer for a faster show at a casino with Kicks and a couple other bands. So it, it, that could that didn't happen, but it was it was gonna it was gonna be we were gonna do a show in Vegas. Uh, but it didn't, yeah, cool. <laughs> so It'd be the fun to pull out some of those old songs too, because they're fun to play. That'd be badass, yeah, for fans, you know. So the last new uh, music you guys put out uh, was Nola and uh, Pirate Love uh, last year, right? Twenty one. Uh, yeah. Can you talk to us about those two songs? Uh, who recorded them? Uh, the writing process, you know, uh, lyrics and all that. Who wrote the lyrics? <laughs> yeah, well, Nola's Nola's a song I started working on right when we finished finished Glory Hole back way back I, it just kind of didn't it wasn't done by the time we did that so it was right after you know Katrina okay. so that's what that that was that was about that track and then yeah. when after when COVID kicked in it's like okay I'm gonna go go through some of these go through some of our old shit that I had that was just not done that was there was I still got tons of that shit I got tons of tracks that are that are cool riffs part some got choruses vocals and some don't have other shit you know just not completed yeah but cool ideas so there's going through some of that we found some other shit so that there's there's more coming <clears throat> that we that me and sam have that have finished up and we're still not done we did we went in and did drums on a bunch of shit so oh, we're wow. in the process we got two more new ones done that have been mastered right before we left on tour so when we get home we just did a deal with uh Golden Robot Records. Okay. They're out of Australia. They're really good, good fucking people. Gilby put his shit out on them, and I have some other friends that are doing stuff with them, and I met the president and his kid and stuff, and they're just cool motherfuckers, so. Awesome. So that's why, that's why I did it with them, and like I said, we got some new shit coming out, and Pirate Love is a cover of Johnny Thunders. Yeah. That we, that we did, it was like, kind of like, we were coming out with Nola and our buddy Sam, a different Sam, the guy that did the artwork for the single, yeah. was mentioned, why don't you guys do Pirate Love? I, I know you guys are tracking it. We had tracked it a little while ago. And I was like, oh, that's not a bad idea because it was already almost done. So, But we went in and redid all the guitars yeah, and did some, did some overdubs and some of the, the drums. But most of the drums and the fucking, the, the rhythm section and most of the vocals were already done. So I was... That was an easy call, so we just went in and yeah. went in over to Gilby's and finished it. Yeah, it sounds about us. Planned on we planned on putting more songs out at a time, but it was like we just wanted to do a single here, a single there. But the vinyl, we wanted to do vinyls. Yeah. And but the turnaround right now in vinyl is so stupid. COVID did not help anything with that. So yeah. a lot of places shut down, and a lot of the places are so back ordered now. It takes you like a year. Damn. Once you put it in the order for you to get the fucking product. Really? Wow. Yeah. Especially for singles. It's like seven inches. Yeah. Yeah, some people don't so, know that. Yeah, that's it's yeah, a problem so right there. Kinda, it kinda 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 put a fucking kibosh on my plan. Yeah. So but yeah. it's doing the deal with Golden Robot. They're probably gonna re release Nola Pirate, you know, as two separate singles. But uh but we also like I said, we got two two new tracks too. Like one's a cover as well as is for what it's worth it's pretty heavy it's a little bit newly dead style that track 
Okay. And then Ghost is just a cool rock song, so it's kind of stonesy. Yeah. There you go, an exclusive so, right there. That's one of my questions. Also, uh, will we ever see a, a, a new full-length album from you guys? So there you go. Yep. I guess. Uh, yeah, there'll be there'll be as soon as we get enough songs to put on. We're going through them. You know, we're just not like going in a studio and bang out. It's a different. It's a different fucking world. Once we get a bunch of these tracks together, then we'll then we'll add a couple more new ones and put out a full record. But and it'll be kind of like I don't know yeah. tales. You know what I mean? Here's yeah. Like each, Eat songs like a little song, little book. So whatever, we'll see. What it is. We're just trying to put shit out as we get it done. So instead of yeah. waiting to do a whole record, which fuck the way I work, could be fucking could be dead by the time it finishes. It, so <laughs> I'm a little slow in my fucking antiqueness, but uh, very cool. But but eventually we'll put together a package that'll have all the new, new tracks because there's a bunch more that are, aren't finished yet, but they are close too. So when we get back home from tour, we're gonna be working on new shit too. That's the full on plan. Yeah. So uh, here's a, a weird question: uh, If you had a chance to go back in time, is there something you would do differently? Something you would change? Oh, the, you know? Oh, there probably would be fucking so many things I'd do differently. <laughs> but it's just like I can't. I can't dwell on any of that shit. You know what I mean? You just kind of like, I just look at it as, and I, and I, and I got, I got the vision from the dude that we're out on the road having, having issues with our bus in San Antonio. And this guy drove down and he was good friends with Dimebag Daryl. And he was in a rock band and he had his, he had his own bus and he, he did now he's the king of generators fucking for, Really? Bus companies. He, he's the best in the country. Wow. And he's a really fucking cool dude. And uh, and he just told me, he's like, dude, you're out. You, I got toys and I got cool shit, and whatnot. I get paid well for what I do, and I'm, I'm I'm good at it. And but but you get you've been able to do what you want to do your whole life. So and I just he goes, you win. Me, I did not win. You won. And I'm like, yeah. I go, that's a good way to look at it. And I go. Like, I've been been able to do what I do, and I was just telling Jimmy kicks that same thing last night. He came up to came to the show, him and his wife, and I go, dude, we've been able to. So we're talking. It's like, dude, we're getting older. We're like certain things we can't do, or oh god, my leg hurts when I do this. Stupid <laughs> shit, stupid yeah. shit. You know, <laughs> we were all, used to all talk about chicks and drinking, and now we just talk about our ailments. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous, but. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's like we won. We've been able to spend, you know, since I've been twenty, since I was like twenty, I've been able to do rock and roll my whole life. Yeah, Just make it my career. And very cool. You know, I never got, I never got really, I never got rich off of it, but I've been able to get paid, do my shit, yeah. my whole life. That's cool. It, being a rock, being in a rock and roll band yep. has been my life. So I, I, I guess I did win. Oh yeah, yeah. Faster Pussycat is a a, a world renowned name, you know, from the eighties and you know that the late eighties. So you did a great and, job. And it's and it's just even just being able to do what I do. You know what I mean? It's like not even like the notor notoriety of just being able to be in this band or that band. It's just being able to do what I've done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tour oh. the tour the world and play play shows with my friends and just yeah. that's work. You exactly. I mean? Exactly. So, that you got a badass job. So, <laughs> it's better than yeah. flipping burgers at McDonald's, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you really love. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. the the thirty fifth anniversary of uh, the debut album, self titled, uh, is this month in July. Uh, any plans to to celebrate that? Maybe play the whole thing. You know, like what bands do. Yeah. You know. I know. I thought. I thought of that. I even thought of like wait, man. But I just like because I was looking over to just go. I've been listening to this shit. Just, Cause I've changed stuff up live when I do it, and I'm just trying to go back and go do some of the stuff the way it was. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah. So I change it up, get it, make it a little raunchier, and sometimes I just switch shit back and forth. So right now I've just been listening through because some of the shit I haven't heard forever. Yeah. So it's because I don't sit there and listen to my own shit. I mean, you know yeah. what I mean? So, <laughs> so but I was, but I have been listening to some of it. And I was just like, and I because I just forget some of the phrasing that I do on when I was when I was that young doing it because I've done different shit since then. So yeah, but it's it's just been interesting. Just some of the stuff that going. Oh man, I can't even remember if yeah. we even played that song ever. Yeah, a lot know, of some songs, a lot of B sides. So, yeah, like a, yeah. So let alone play the whole album front to back. 
I, the, and the set we do and the shit we do is it's basically the, the stuff that goes over the best lives. Yeah, I mean, it's oh, yeah. kind of tried and tested because yeah. we play every fucking year. You know, we tour. Yeah, we go out every every year and we do shows in between the tours and stuff. And we know what rocks and what songs don't really pull live. Yeah, you know, they don't come across live that well. You know, yeah. some people will still but it's like either play this song that slams or this song that's pretty cool. You know, I mean, you're going to play this song that slams. That's yeah. just because it try to get people pumped up as much so yeah. I can have a good tone. So. Yeah, the live songs. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I've seen you guys a couple of times live and you guys you guys rock, man. You guys, uh, you guys tear it up, yeah. So, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, all the respect uh, to your, your current band members, you know, Chad and and Danny. Mm -hmm. Have you got any offers to do uh, like a reunion, you know, with the original guys? No, and I talk. I I talk with Greg. I deal with Greg all the time. Me and him still handle all the old faster business from the old first three records from Electra and shit. And I get along with Brent. I talk to Brent every once in a while. Eric, I'm not sure where he's at, but we get. I get along with everybody. M Mark, we don't know where Mark's at. Brent died, so yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Of course, you, know you know never know. You never know what can happen. But this band I've been with is. I've been. Danny and Chad, I've been with them for fucking 22 years. Yeah, so oh, yeah. It's like, those guys ain't going anywhere. So if there was something like there, if there was anything to happen, it would happen like what happened when I brought Faster Pussy Cat back in mix in 2001. Is with fucking you know we brought I brought Greg and Brent back into the fold. Yeah. You know, at the time I didn't need I didn't need another bass player, so Eric was not was not invited, but he was around. You know, we talked. We had to come up and jam with us couple shows and yeah not, you know you know i you know i love eric you know we had we're old compadres and oh yeah we're old friends i don't i don't really speak to him i don't i, I don't even know where he lives right now he was living in vegas but yeah. i think he moved somewhere else so but but i have you know i, I think he's a good guy so it's like yeah it, I, it, I, I did but i deal with greg like when i'm home when we're on off, off the tour I'm, i deal with greg i talk to him like like every two days every three days we're talking Deal with stuff, and yeah. we have them come up on stage with us and play when we're at home in LA. Wow, very cool, nice. Yeah, don't get me wrong; it's just a question, you know. You got a rock and band yeah, right now. No, it's yeah. all good. No, it's all good. I just, yeah, yeah, it's just a question. So, uh, what's your favorite song to play live? House of Pain's always a good one. No, it's always fun but I like this, this they're like your kids so we've been like I've been having a lot of fun with Ain't No Way Around It maybe so we've added about basically to the to the main set there's some shows we're out with Tom and stuff that we're only playing like 40 minutes so that sometimes it's either that or this one you don't have 40 minutes goes by pretty fucking fast so yeah it's like, yeah you gotta do that anyway yeah cat, i mean i don't know there's non-stop there's just it's a bunch yeah like we played we played poison ivy last night for the first time this whole tour Awesome, like, wow. You know, and that was one of our most known songs. We just, our sets aren't that long. So it's like, for for most of this tour, last night was our own show. So we, we actually played longer than we normally do for our own <laughs> too, so. Yeah, that was but cool. I don't, I don't only have a certain favorite. I, you know, I, I like doing a ball battle on Swan Up, as always. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of names, Swan, Yeah, a bunch of good songs, yeah. Too many. So what's, uh, uh, <laughs> what's next for yourself? Uh, and the band, any plans to tour uh, South America, Mexico, Europe? You know, what's next for... Uh, we're, we're trying. We're working on it right now. We're working on trying to go to uh, Australia. Nice. Like, we just, like I said, we just did that deal with Golden Robot. So we're going to try to go there in the new year, like in February. That's what we're shooting for. Because other, Ronnie's got some stuff to do in November, and Sam's got some stuff to do in September. Yeah. And so we're just going to be... I'm going to be basically, Sam already had to do, a, I'm going to have Ronnie come and do some guitar parts before he leaves. 
and Danny and Chad already fucking did shit, so I'm just I'm gonna review a bunch of vocals on some of these new tracks I've told you wow. that we were working on while during that period of time. So wow. and then we're gonna then we're gonna go try and then we're gonna try to do, then we have the Monsters of the Rock cruise. Oh that's right, yeah. We're yeah. gonna try to yeah, then we're gonna try to go to Europe either just before or just after that. we we're we were supposed to go in twenty twenty. Yeah. But that you know what happened with the pandemic. That. Yeah. The whole the world plague. <laughs> the whole world shut down so exactly would you like to send a, uh, before I let you go uh, send a message to your fans listening to this podcast uh, just thanks for thanks for sticking around with us for this long and if you're new thanks for jumping aboard and come out and see us play sometime awesome uh, thank you Tammy uh, well, can't wait to hear the new material so very cool keep, right rock, on, keep rocking man right on James alright brother you take care of yourself <laughs> Support the band, buy merchandise, uh, support them, follow them, like them, download, stream, blah, 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 the whole nine yards, subscribe. Uh, Faster Pussycat, you can find them on social media. And thank you, Tammy, for making time and talking to us uh, on our show. As far as the fans and friends, thank you for uh, sticking around and checking out our, our interviews and uh, our shows, right? Thank you for supporting us and subscribing to our YouTube channel, downloading, uh, sharing, purchasing, and the whole nine yards. Thank you for uh, your support, your complete support. On behalf of your friend, James, we truly appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe and be looking into our radio station, jrocksmetalzone.com, where you can hear rock metal 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days out of the week. Every day, all day. All kinds of rock, all kinds of metal. New rock, old rock, new metal, old metal, all kinds of thrash and death metal and all kinds of stuff. So check it out, jrocksmetalzone.com. And don't forget to keep it metal. That metal interview.